My dear, it's hard to say where it all began. This constant need to meet your expectations. Perhaps it was in the little things at first, like the way I laughed at your jokes, even when they weren't funny, or how I stayed silent when I wanted to speak up, fearing you wouldn't understand. Over time, those little concussions turned into something larger, something that has taken root deep within me, a fear of not being enough for you. But here's the thing, I've started to wonder when did your approval become the measure of my worth? When did I start dreading pieces of myself for the fleeting satisfaction of pleasing you? Like this video and type triple one to banish the negativity from your love life. My dear, at first, it didn't seem like much. I thought, if I just try a little harder, maybe they'll see how much I care. But no matter what I did, it was never enough. The finish line kept moving. The more I gave, the more you seem to take and I can't help but question if you even and I can't help but question if you ever noticed what it was costing me. Have you ever paused to wonder what it feels like to be seen only for what you can do and not for who you are? To always be the one bending, sifting, sacrificing while the other person remains unchanged, unyielding. It hurts deeply. I'm not a machine designed to perform flawlessly every moment of the day. I am a human being with feelings, flaws and a soul that craves love and understanding, not just from others but from myself too. And I've been neglecting that part of me for far too long, all in the name of living up to some impossible standard I don't even believe in. Like this video and subscribe to heal yourself. My dear, I've raised my limit. I can no longer mold myself into shapes that make you comfortable while I lose sight of who I truly am. I've spent too many nights laying awake, wondering why I was never good enough in your eyes, and it's time for that to end. My vote cannot and will not be defined by how perfectly I fit into your expectations. I'm done contorting myself into someone I don't recognize just to make you happy. You need to understand something, I'm not perfect nor will I ever be and that's okay. I don't need to be perfect to deserve love, respect or kindness. None of us do. Flaws are part of being human, and in those flaws, there is beauty, strength, and resilience. The fact that I stumble, that I sometimes fall, is not a mark of failure, but a testament to the courage it takes to stand back up. Like this video and type triple three to attract love. My dear, I need you to see me, not just the version of me that caters to your comfort, but the real me. The one who has moments of brilliance 
and moments of weakness. The one who loves deeply tries her best and sometimes falls short. That person in all her imperfections is worthy of love, respect and understanding. And if you can't see that, if your love is conditional upon my ability to meet your impossible standards, then maybe it's time to re-evaluate what we are to each other. Because here's the truth, I am enough just as I am. I don't need to earn the right to be loved or respected. Those are not rewards to be handed out when I've met some abbreviatory standard. They are the foundation of any meaningful connection. And if our relationship lacks that foundation, then what are we building here? I won't allow expectations to rule my life anymore. I won't let them dictate how I see myself or how I move through the world. I'm reclaiming my power, my sense of self and my freedom to simply be. I'm learning to love the person I am, not the version of me that's always striving to please, but the one who is real, raw, and unapologetically herself. Like this video and type triple nine if you believe in your love. My dear, I want you to know this isn't about punishing you or pushing you away. It's about finding balance, about recognizing that I matter too. My feelings, my needs, my boundaries, they are just as important as yours. And if you truly care about me, you respect that. You'll meet me halfway and together we can create something better, something based on mutual respect and understanding. But if you can't, if you continue to see me as someone who must meet impossible expectations to earn your love, then maybe it's time for me to walk away. It would break my heart, but I can't keep breaking myself into pieces to fit into a mold that was never meant for me. I deserve to be loved for who I am, not for who you want me to be. And as I write these words, I feel a sense of peace, a sense of clarity. I've spent too long living in the shadows of what you think I should be, and now I'm ready to step into the light of who I truly am. If you choose to join me there, I'll welcome you with open arms. But if not, I will still move forward knowing I am enough always. Like this video and subscribe to Penis the Negativity. Prayer for steady steps of abundance. Repeat after me. Lord, let my business prosper, my plans take flight, and help me stay strong in this financial fight. Bless me with good fortune and a steady gain. May every effort bring me peace, not pain. Let my income grow and my heart be true. For all that I do, I place in you. With your love, Lord, I trust and stand, guide my hand, and lead me to the promised land. Bless my family and grant them peace. Let my income and blessings never cease. I trust in you for every need, for your blessings are all that I need.
Bless my work today with skill and might. Let my efforts shine in your holy light. Let my success be a testament true to your power, Lord, in all that I do. Grant me the strength to rise above and to work with passion, guided by your love. Finally, Lord, as I plan and grow, let your wisdom in my heart flow. Bless my investments, my home and my faith. With your favor, may I prosper each day. In all my dealings, I trust your hand. For your guidance, Lord, is my solid stand. Like this video and type Amen to claim this prayer.